Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I promised you that we'll have someone talking to us this weekend about migrating from Kenya to USA using the sports scholarship. So today we have Ruth uh, here and she's going to take us through um, this uh, process of migration as a sport person. So welcome Ruth and tell us about yourself and how we can help our people back home. Uh, I believe it's just people not knowing the way the, um, you know, people hide so much information, but we are here to help those who can be helped. Um, if you are a sport person, stay tuned here. Ruth is going to tell us how we can maneuver to this place. So welcome, Ruth. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for um, having me. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ruth Tepsat. I came here in 2016 through our uh, athletic scholarship. I came through cross country and middle distance running. So how I got this uh, chance is um, I went to a camp in Kenya. It's called place in Eldoret called Captagat. So they have like athletes who finish form four. They go there, stay together and run together until you come here. So when I go there, um, we started running and then we started applying uh, for passports. We went to Kisumu, get passports, and then we sat for our SAT. So there's an exam called SAT. That's where, that's uh, the exam they need you to do so that you apply for colleges here. So after I uh, did my SAT, um, so we did our SAT and then we went to, um, so you guys, you hear there is an exam you do, like it's something, we have schools. Yeah. So we have a, oh, so the, there's a place in Eldoret called Eldoret Polytechnic. So where, yeah, you register the exam online and then you will just go and sit for the exam there. And then, um, um, yeah, then that's the exam where the coach will need when you apply for schools here. So uh, let's say I've just finished Form 4 and I want to, do I need to be an athlete that, that I was born to run, I've been running, or I, no. can, I can go to school and start uh, practicing how to run? Yeah, I think most people like from Kenya, when you just say you are from Kenya, they will believe that you're a good runner. So mm -hmm. you get that point. <laughs> The yeah. first thing, advantage you have is you are from Kenya. Just yeah. mentioning the word Kenya, you are already... Yes. So you just go to websites. So, for example, how I got to my school, I went to the website. So long as you have your phone, you can just Google like uh, colleges that offer athletic scholarship mm -hmm. through running or through b basketball or any, any kind of sport you want to pass it, uh, participate. So I went there, I go to like... Um, Gillette College at that time I went to the website I found the coach email so I sent the coach an email that hey my name is uh, Ruth and um, I ran a runner you know um, I told him all the nice things you want to say you know mm -hmm. in the email you want to prove the, that you are uh, you know a good runner and you have the capability to make the school you know succeed and stuff so uh, the coach reached back to me and just started emailing me back and forth and that's how I got the school. Okay, so what, I've, what I understand from Ruth is that there are schools here in USA that uh, sponsor people from Kenya, those, the athletes. So you only go to online and Google the... Yeah, you Google like just colleges that offer athletic scholarship mm -hmm. and there's like all like a lot of schools mm -hmm. but you have to be like specific what kind of sport you are interested in mm -hmm. so let's say you're interested in um soccer for example or running or basketball just go to the website like websites and start um you know researching schools that have a scholarship and you will find a lot yeah yeah so the first thing we've had you need to have finished form four and in Kenya, we have the camps. Or yes. The schools. So in Kenya, we have like it's not like a school. It's where just when a lot of people finish from four and 
mostly the parents who don't afford to pay college. college. That's uh -huh. where you just go and you know hang out with these people who have the same passion of coming here. So we have one. I think they have one in Iten, uh, Kaptagat. They have one in Kapsabet called um, uh, Eliud Kipchoge Training Camp, I believe. So that's where I have a cousin over there right now training. Mm -hmm. So you can just go there even even though you don't have a lot of money maybe you have like four thousand you can just get like a small um place just from food and just meet these runners who have the same goal as you and you can just go train together you see this thing is happening and people who already know this thing they are already in camps uh as you've had in eldoret so you go and look for those camps and she told she's talk talked about uh Iten and Kaptagat Kapsabet, yeah. Uh -huh. We'll in the comment section we'll type for you those those the camps places. so that you can go there. You'll go and meet people who have the same ambition as you, people who want to migrate to this place and they will help you better. You'll be going you at least you'll have someone to discuss with. But you see she's already open to you. This um this process is open okay. and it's always open throughout. Mm -hmm. So it's you to make an effort, go online and look for scholarships. Yeah. Schools that offer scholarships to the sport you are in. Yeah. Let's say athlete or soccer. And there are so many. You present yourself. You know, you want to sell yourself. So you talk about good yeah. things about yourself. So, yeah, the emails has to be like very professional. Mm -hmm. You can't just type just two sentences that's be like a paragraph yeah just explaining to code that you should even have like some pictures of you with you know running uh, mm -hmm. attires and running shoes you know just mm -hmm. show them that you are really like legit you know you're not just someone you know just email emailing them from nowhere saying that they are runners you know yeah and then after getting your sat and results and everything that's when the coach will send you an i-20 so the I-20 is the one you will take to you, the embassy. Mm -hmm. And then that's when you, you want to get, the, that's where you will get your visa to come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, yeah. uh, when, and that, is that exam, um, very tough one? How is that it's, exam? It's almost like how a KCSC exam, it's mm -hmm. like, a, I believe, um, I don't remember how many hours exam, but you will sit there for like maybe three hours. Mm -hmm. And it has like English and mm -hmm. math and science. And it's kind of like, um, it's almost like our KCSE exam. Oh, yeah. but that's it's, it's a Yeah, it's an exam you can study it's, online too. Yeah, it's yeah. doable and people are doing it. And yeah, and Kenyans are smart, so they yeah. always pass it. Like most people will pass anyway. <laughs> so it's not too bad. <laughs> so, yeah, you see, it's, it's upon you to get us to to start and you know you have to start with that motive like yeah what do you call like i want to do something like a will or something a will, yeah, yeah. You, should be willing. you should be willing to do to. this thing and we've told you the first thing you go online yeah go online email coaches mm -hmm. and then actually the first thing i would suggest is going to these places to the camps yeah, yeah. yes because when you go to the camp there's like 50 or 100 people so who have the people. same goal yeah that's where you meet and you can talk that's where you even learn more about uh where to get your passport where to get your sat done mm -hmm. and everything like they will help you because most people are willing to help you you know when you get to the camp and yeah yeah so get to the camp uh, know people interact with them they will tell you you know the process today we are doing this tomorrow we are doing this so you get used to mm -hmm. and if it's like running you at least you you'll practice yeah. if you've never done you know you can start by practicing from those camps yeah if you've never um ran, ran in yeah your life, but so. the other thing you you know you can lie to coaches that hey i'm a good runner but when you get here you have to come and show yeah. that you're running so if you yes. lie you can you kind of you'll get your scholarship being taken away here so you mm -hmm. have to be really like good at what you're doing mm -hmm. if you have never ran before and you say i'm a good runner you should start like practicing and just start running from them you know mm -hmm. yeah because it's gonna it's gonna be tough when you get here uh yeah yeah so you should at least practice 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 it makes perfect and yeah. 
if you are you actually need to be physically fit you will not come with a cardiac disease and you are going to run please yes yes don't do that <laughs> that's it, true you must be physically fit because it's something you are going to use your body and yeah. when you come here you're going to run too so yeah yeah don't lie don't if you have a medical issue please yeah don't, don't do that we don't want you to die yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember when I got here and my coach picked me from the airport and took me to the indoor track mm -hmm. and he told me, just show me, you said you are a good runner, run and show me that you are a good runner now. So if I'd never ran before, I would have just collapsed and just, you know. <laughs> Imagine straight from the airport to the field. Yes. And can you show me you can run. Yeah, show me. You mm -hmm. said the, the, through the emails that you are a good runner. So I want to see that. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then if you are not a good runner, I'm going to take your scholarship away because you lied to you me, lied. basically, yeah. So, so, don't lie, but you can do it, so, yeah. yeah. So, if you guys want, we can put down below, like, the steps, mm -hmm. like, right, written, mm -hmm. so that you can know the process, but... Yeah, and I, I'll also type down there the Ruth YouTube channel so that you can contact her yes, directly. Yeah. Yes. All the questions you have, all the sports people. We'll be coming here updating you, but I'll yeah. put the Ruth uh, YouTube channel on the comment section. Actually, you can say, what is it? Your YouTube oh, channel. it's called Ro Rainbow. Rainbow. Rainbow calls it here. Yeah, so yeah. you can contact her. It's not contacting her through mobile or what. You just contact through the YouTube. The YouTube, yeah. yes. It will be more convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she will help you through. And then yeah. also support my sister here by subscribing because uh -huh. she's so nice. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm very nice. I'm a nice person. Yes. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and share. And support her. Yeah, yes. And support. Okay. Okay. Thank so, you so much, guys, for watching you. today. Thank you, Ruth. Yes. For your time. Thank and you. And accepting to do this. <laughs> by then, not so many people will do this. Not so many people have time to help others. <laughs> not so many actually, actually those who are who are already in america is just work work work, work. yes they don't have such like, time so yes. you guys you are we are privileged to have her and we appreciate your time bye guys bye <laughs>